This will be a short speech and introduction. How to mind your business, move through the bullshit of others, and while the dogs bark, the caravan moves onward. Now, first things first, I would like to start with a simple axiom. We are not governing the perceptions, beliefs, opinion, perspectives of others. It is not within our influence or within our interest to change it unless it directly endangers our being, well-being, our life and health. So, given 17 years of experience of magical travails, sojourns and journeys I had, I've dealt with a swave, a swave and cords of locusts and imbeciles along the way. Now, because your belief systems and your actions and your variable fortunes and natures may change in a very complex environment once you begin your magical path, of course you may be possessed. Of course you may acquire additional skills. Of course, if you're a critical thinker and an academically inclined bookworm, you build a robust knowledge. Now, people that are not generally well educated, that have no critical thinking skills and that are shrapnelized or atomized into petty belief systems and have no ability to shuffle paradigms of knowledge, whole paradigms containing whole theories, containing whole knowledge, will see what they want to see. The limit of their world is what they know and their understanding. So they will read everything back into it. You cannot govern it. You cannot change it. You may try to educate people, inspire people, yes. Starting from the ground up, yes, if they're willing to. Most of them generally are unwilling to learn, unwilling to be educated, inspired and so on. They have their own lives, they have their own business, their own issues. And that's fine, as long as they're not aggressively trying to proselytize their bullshit. Because then they become dangerous and annoying. You all know these stories about fundamental Christians calling everyone Satan, Devil, Satan is that who's not on their bandwagon. Now I've dealt with that a lot. Not that I didn't want to ignore them and say, fuck off. And they go, Jesus. And I say, fuck off. And they go, but divine, fuck off. I'm a heathen. And so on and so on. I've built a robust system of knowledge, of theology, of experiences. How to move through the danger zones of hells and the cities. How to avoid trouble. How to use my skills and competence in order to move around the astral worlds, in the cities, in the village, everywhere. And sure, people around you may get possessed. So what? You may get physically damaged. So what? You carry on. And that's the prime purpose of magic. If you want to achieve something, rectify a spirit, a diamond that is strong, that is resilient and fierce, to be compatible with higher spheres of the planetary spheres and heavens and be stubborn, you need to go through the process, unfortunately. Otherwise, you are my slave. A heliotic, so to say, in Gnostic terms. So, it is not an easy path. And among the problems you will encounter, not only the cacodaimonic forces, the dead, the shadows, the hybrid weird forces that if you have second sight you may see them and not first they inspire terror, then you become a nightmare and you get used to them. You know their tools and tricks of the trade. And while your enemies keep on barking on you, you keep on developing, ignoring them. And after 17 years, I must say that all my enemies that kept barking on me were stuck in their developmental process of a barking dog. While I progressed, while I won my tersa with the gods, with the muses, with the spirits that I see and interact with. And this is wonderful knowledge, because that means that I'm on the right path. And of course there were naysayers of religious bigoted idiots that always said, oh, if you do this, if you do that, promising heaven, threatening with hell, and say, bullshit, you know this much, I know this much, you experience this much, see nothing, experience nothing, I experience this much, experience that. So, what is the prime duty of this speech is to say, 
Use your mind, think critically, be discerning, be perseverant, and ignore those swathes of ignorant idiots. If you have the clock set on the right time, and you realize that your progress is correct, and thousands have the clock set on a different hour, they will say, no, that's not the hour, that's the hour that we see. And sure, you may end up as a person that is completely deluded, protecting himself in a castle of delusions, thinking that he's right. But when you realize, when you interact, when you learn truly in honesty, in veritability, then you know that everything works. If you have the feedback, if you have the symbols, tokens, out of Aeneas, then you know that you're on the right track. And you leave all those idiots, those religious, petty, pathetic bigots behind. And you leave those magicers with inflated egos quarreling over who is better and who is more skilled behind. And you leave all those little petty semblances of human beings behind. Of course, they may poison your life, they may destroy your life, they may destroy your career. So what? You build a monument, exegi monumentum, Horatio Flaccus, Memento Mori, Marcus Aurelius, Invicti Genii. That means you build a victorious genius that triumphs above those petty slaves of earth. And sure, I have a body. But when the ties between my body and my diamond, my spirit, loosens with the Dionysian tomb, I become liberated. And all I can say is that I have all the possible proofs throughout my life that I was on the right track. Sure, I went through all the demonism and hells and I've been a demoniac, truly. So what? Be like a phoenix, be reborn each day and carry on. And then, as soon as you realize that you're the Zarathustra on the mountain, you don't want to go down to the valley dwellers to listen to their stories, to their shit, to their petty market lady gossip, to their delusions. You don't want to change them, you just go amongst them and you see, ah, that, ah, this, I know that, I know this. You understand their perspective, it's petty. They won't understand your perspective and your extent. But you don't care, you don't want to change them or educate them. It is for the few that understand, it is for the few that went through the path, that tilled their own fields, that understand and that may completely be in tune with you and seek out such people. Because if you associate yourself with the wrong people, you are pulled down into their own idiocies and misery. So remember, a yes, a no, a straight path, a goal. Be perseverant, educated, discerning, try to be wise. And as soon as those religious bigots realize that they achieved absolutely nothing, living their empty lives, claiming to be slaves to a Jewish god and a corpse on the cross, and that you yourself conquered as a new hero, in spirit, then as they end up in the shadows or hooked up under petty illusions of heavens and earth, you stand triumphant above them. And that is sufficient to say. Be strong and dare and act. I did for years. The summation of my life is constituting a very strong spirit. Un unvanquishable. I dropped this body and I arise triumphant. Thank you.